Hey, hello, welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, what do I have to say here at the start of the video? I will be doing a stream today, probably, if you're watching this when the video gets uploaded. I think I'll be playing Slice and Dice. My plan for today, I think the general plan, is we win this Slice and Dice video right here, hopefully. We get to a 20 win streak. Very cool, very exciting, right? And then today when I stream, I think I'll just be doing Slice and Dice, trying to extend the win streak. I'm only going to probably do like maybe, I mean, like the most I could do is three runs. So maybe, you know, for the record, I'm acting like this win is a foregone conclusion. It's not. We could definitely lose this run as well, right? But in theory, if, if this run wins, I, tomorrow the next YouTube video could be at like a 23 win streak. Then who knows? We'll see. But I want to try to get as many games as, as I can before 3.0 comes out. I want to see how far I can get. It's going pretty well so far, I'd say, right? Very, very happy with the streak so far. But if we lost it now, I would be honestly not disappointed. I, I, this has been cool. I've been having fun with it. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. So yeah. Anyway, that all of that being said, hopefully, uh, there's hopefully we win and hopefully there's a stream today where we play more slice and dice. Even if we lose this run, I'll probably just keep playing more slice and dice for for the, the Twitch stream today. So. If you want to see it, come check it out. It's been really cool. And uh, I've been having fun. I've been having fun with the slices lately. So hopefully you've been enjoying them. Uh, this team, I don't love student, if I'm being honest. But I think ultimately, I actually don't hate taking D-level middle here. I think, I think this is not too bad of a curse for us. So let's try this. And what's our, what's our, what's our tier zero right now? That is not that good. That is not that good of a character, but we survive. Very cool. And we get Squire or Buckle. Me? I'm more of a Squire believer person, but I don't hate Buckle. Some, there's, there's some Buckle hate out there. I think having a 2 damage heavy and a 4 damage block on your tier 1 gray is not terrible. But I think the damage uh, redirects are pretty cool. So I, I think I prefer Squire overall, but they're both decent characters. Now Squire is getting his ass beat here. Oh, come on. I was like, I was like, ooh, is it going to be good? Is it going to be good? And it was fucking dog shit. Unfortunate. We'll take these. And I mean, Squire can't roll worse than this, I feel like, right now. So, there you go. He can roll as bad as that, I suppose. Didn't really clarify that one too well. I think we'll do this. Squire, or Brig Brigand is exerted. How do you say it, by the way? This word is pronounced Brigand, right? I've always said Brigand. I feel like it may be like brig brigand, maybe. I don't know. It's a classic word. It's it's a classic word that you never see actually said out loud. I feel like. But uh, I've always I've always called it brigand. But maybe, just maybe, I'm stupid. Who knows? Student never changed, by the way. Never changed, student. Anyway, hopefully, uh, you know. Hopefully you are doing well today, by the way. I don't think I actually said that at the start. Maybe I did. I don't know. I'm having a pretty, I'm just having a pretty good one. I've just been, I've just been I, like, unironically, I've just been having so much fun playing Slice and Dice. I like Dark and Darker a lot, but I burned out in the game pretty quickly. This game, I feel like is, is somehow just burnout immune. I don't know what they did, but I just never get tired of playing this game. It's so cool. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. So... And also, it doesn't hurt that people have been watching the videos more, too. When I, when I, it's kind of like a scary thing, I feel like. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just stupid. But it, it, it feels like a scary thing to be, like, you know, so hard committed to a game like Dark and Darker. Well, it was, it was, it was kind of scary in the first place to commit to Dark and Darker. Because I was like, what if no one watches these videos? Yada, yada, whatever, right? But I, I thought that, you know, leaving Dark and Darker would be even scarier. Because I was like, oh, I've, I've, you know, oh my fucking god. You assholes. This sucks. Um, but I was like, you know, genuinely worried that like people just like wouldn't watch the videos. Because it's like, oh, these aren't dark and darker. And like I thought like, you know, maybe all of the old folks from back in the slicing and dicing days would just be like, we don't want to go back. No, thank you. But they're back. That's again, all in all, very cool. If we do this into this here. Kill you. Block like so. That's pretty good. Anyway. All this being said, I'm just having a good time, man. I don't know. I'll honestly just take the one damage here. 
think we can just be defensive this turn. Not go too hard in the paint. Okay, Thief. Kind of fucking shit up right now. But ultimately, not that scary. You should be able to kill the board next turn. Uh, There we go. Getting some rolls. We might have lethal here, but let's, let's just look for the damage move here. If the Squire will roll it. I guess not. Yeah, we have lethal. Goodbye, Mr. Boar. Oh, you know, someone, I, I got to respond to the comment as well, but someone did ask in the in the last Slice and Dice video what kind of dog Hazel is. She is a dachshund. She is a a dash hound, a, a dachshund. I think, uh, are, are mini dachshunds versus, like, is there a difference between a mini dachshund and a dachshund? I don't know anymore. I think it's just the same damn dog. But, uh, yeah, that's what Hazel is. It's pretty cool. Uh, how do we feel about Disciple right now? I don't love Disciple here currently because we don't have a good mana payoff right now, and the and the double heals are also not very good. There's there's teams where Disciple fits in pretty well, but I don't like just blind picking Disciple. Whereas Bard, is just kind of a pretty safe pickup here. Will be pretty good no matter what your team is doing, and by pretty good I mean okay, <laughs> but not will be will be not terrible, no matter what your team is doing. I think is the correct thing, correct way to describe it. So, we do generally lack damage here. Just generally just pretty low damage output here. So the troll going for an immediate poison is a little bit spooky. But this is fine. Hold on. Okay, we get we get some bursts in. We should be able to get lethal next turn here, hopefully. We are getting poisoned up here as well. I think we'll roll for the uh, exert side here on, on Brig Brigand now. Brigand? Who knows? And there's nothing you can even roll at this point, Bard, that would help us here. But we, again, just have extremely lethal. Very cool. Double bandits. <laughs> Statue versus ring. Pretty confident this is a ring angle here for sure. Like even, even First off, Brigand just has a ring slot here too. But even if we didn't, we will always have at least a tiny bit of value here with the wand. right? We'll always be able to play a citrine ring somewhere. And then we'll look at this, a third bandit. I mean, in theory, we bring one bandit down to one health, Brigand exerts, and they all run. I don't want to fuck with that for a curse bolt. No thank you. Not not today, Satan. Um, I don't think one shield is that impactful here unless we see... Oh, fuck, there it is. Well, either way, this is still fine. Let's so say if we see the... If we see the the AoE shield from Bard, then. The one shield makes sense here on Brigand. Let's try again. Come on. Okay, well, there we go. Very cool. Let's start... Pestering these guys if we can. I like just taking the bow here, I think. We're just a two damage hit. Like, like just Thief rolls a two damage. Br Brigand rolls the exert, and we do get to leave. That's pretty good news. They hate my guys, huh? Oh, well, you know... Team? Great work. Very cool. And we get Herbalist versus Fiend. Me, personally, herbal, big Herbalist stand. Maybe one of the biggest Herbalist stands out there. Fiend is pretty good. Not bad for this team either, but I feel like Herbalist is just like, you know, we can take this and no matter what our blue is, we'll be pretty happy. We'll be pretty happy that we have the Herbalist here. So I'm loving, I'm loving this right now. And we'll try to take out one of these goblins first, I imagine. AoE shield actually on Bard, incredibly, incredibly good value right now. And then get a little bit of regen. I don't know where we're going to put that. Maybe just on Thief because of the low max HP. Um, and then is there any reason why we target one of these goblins over the other? I don't think so. Let me just play this. And then... Bard is getting his ass beat. This is fine. I don't love growth here. Redo is a very good side, obviously, for us right now. Okay, so Bandit dies. We can just... I mean, we can do damage as well here. It doesn't matter how you slice this up. Or how you dice this up, but... Slimer does die this turn. And if we don't win this turn, I'm going to be very confused. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Um, 
Enchanted Shield's pretty good. Three of a kind. A little bit of a high variance item. It's definitely not bad here, though. We should actually be able to hit it pretty reliably. If we hit the Brigand's two damage side right now. But... This is just good guaranteed value here. So I think we just take this, slap it on Thief for now because of the 4 HP. I think uh, this will do well for us. Now, we don't really have much cleave damage except we have Slice here. So if we can hit a Slice, we can maybe do a little dicing, right? That, that's what we in the business call a, a pun. It's not really a pun either, huh? I don't know what that is. Reference? Fuck me. I don't know. Whatever. Dice. <laughs> Very cool. Um, well, it doesn't matter which one of these we hit. You know what, student actually proving himself to be a, a solid gamer today. Maybe, maybe the people were wrong about him, huh? Can we, can we cut him some slack today? I'll take these. Okay, tragically, no, uh, no way to kill this quartz this turn. But like, you know. Quartz has got effectively one HP left, and we have Herbalist, so, you know, it's, it's, it's over. It is over. Very cool. Uh, I mean, it's the Trapper Herbalist Wombo combo. And Herbalist and Glacier don't work that well together. Herbalist, the whole thing is that they're usually pretty good because they have just consistent mana generation. They're very good at fueling people's spells. Also good at Nate. Like, like, I think Caldera is the best blue we're looking for here. Right? And it's just also just a very good combo with Trapper. I think mean, this is just a, it's, it's just, we don't have the, like, Glacier's a good character, but we just, we just have the combo, basically, here. We don't need to think about it too much beyond that. Now, Student is getting absolutely blasted here, which we don't love. I'll take this, though, I think. And can we see the combo? Uh-oh, the combo's kind of not showing up here. Ah, eh, dodge is pretty good. I don't hate this. Basically, we take no damage this turn, so that's pretty cool. Although we are exerted on the Brigand. Okay, that's some pretty good stuff there. AoE shield is not terrible here, so we can take that. Piece of shit. I think we actually pause here. That way we don't summon both Slimers this round. Okay. I'll take these. Looking for another vulnerability here. Very good. Solid, solid stuff here, I must say. We are... I, I Listen, it's obviously too early in the run. Things could go terribly, horribly wrong. I feel like we just we just have a good team here, and I feel like we just kind of, you know, keep our heads on a swivel, we'll be A-OK. -okay. I guess. I don't know. Now, they're both cleaving me here. I guess it doesn't matter which one of these we kill. We should just kill one of them. Pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah, whatever. I guess we had the regen of student. We probably should have shielded the trapper a little bit more there. It shouldn't really matter though. We kind of are just autopiloting. I feel like at this point. Okay. Uh, we'll kill one of you. Wait, no, hold on. Inverse, inverse. There we go. Again, pretty much just taking no damage here. We are, we, you know what? We're a little bit of a, of a defensive team right now. Some people have been saying I'm the, the defensive prodigy of, of Slice and Dice. People, So many people are saying it. So many people are saying it. But uh, maybe there's some truth to it. I didn't think it was 100% true, but you know what? Maybe I do just play a lot of defensive builds. But you know what? It's working for us today. So I'm pretty cool with that. This seems like an incredibly easy hex for me to pick up right now. Uh, hopefully we can upgrade our blue soon, and again, we're looking for Caldera mainly. Caldera would be pretty sick here, but against this ghost, we roll three mana. We get to kill a ghost today. Oh, hold on. I forgot I forgot to I forgot to equip the hex. We'll give this to Herbalist for now. Okay. There's some of our mana. Kill shot here is lovely as well. You know what? He did his job today. And no one takes any damage here. Very cool. Uh, We should probably have the, the shield, actually. I'm not realizing it shouldn't be on Trapper anymore. He doesn't really need that shit. 
So, curious. Goodbye. I don't love Evoker here. I think we can just take a Collector and be pretty happy with it. Evoker is probably one of the worst uh, blues for this team right now. I don't trust that guy currently. And you know, Collector gets to hold this pretty well too, which is nice. Citrine Ring arguably should maybe be on the Poison actually, but I think... The, here's like the problem with the Poison side. It might be better to have a plus one on it than the Focus side, but we're more likely to re-roll the Poison side because we just want... We're so mana hungry right now, right, is the thing. So I think we're actually just better off putting it here. And the, and the Enchanted Shield should maybe be on Student, because again, low HP. Ooh, we don't really have a way to kill this zombie, huh? Oh, we have a way to kill this zombie. Never mind. We have a very good way to kill the zombie. I've lied to you. I don't like any of these. Okay, that's good enough. Let's put this here. We can just kill the sniper, which I do not hate doing. The Wiz can summon. Not the end of the world. Could have just stunned the Wiz here too. Maybe a better line actually when I think about it more. But it doesn't matter because we have, I think, mostly already won this run. Or most of this fight, I should say. Not this run. The run still very much up in the air here for sure. But Wiz will leave. And we've got Chocolate Bar versus Up Dog versus a random tier 5. Uh, what are all the things that this, tar this, this, this helps out with? Cruel, Engage, Death with Chain. Collector has none of these. Mm. Up Dog. Not what I love. I'll take a random here. I think random on average gives us better value. Very happy with this. Doesn't do anything yet, but later on, there's some pretty spooky fights that have a lot of enemies, and this is an incredibly good character to have uh, the door on. Right, these being plus three shield all is a is a pretty impactful uh, side for our, our dice. Also, not terrible on the student here either, right? These getting plus one, or is it plus, it's plus two, right? Yeah, it's plus two. That'd be pretty solid too, honestly, but I think it's better on the bard. Um, now, Quartz is being very annoying because Quartz will weaken the student, which will turn him off next turn, but we also could just uh, kill the Banshee this turn. I, I don't hate that line at all, actually. I think we'll be doing that. Um, we could roll better on the Collector, actually, here, too. This is, like, the worst side for you to roll. Because pretty much everyone else here is rolling better things than Duplicate, so... Don't do this to me, Collector. Come on. That's actually maybe worse. I don't know. We'll see. Hold on. So, this is... Uh, 8 damage. Yeah, this actually kind of sucks. Whatever. Oh, can we hex you, actually, idiot? Hold on. No, we... I mean, we can. We have to do the, the sequence a little bit different. We have to do this. Into this. This is technically more mana efficient here. Um, and then put this, like, up here. Whatever. It'll be fine. Student takes a turn off here, unless he rolls the reuse side, which would be pretty nice. Or, the, I guess, technically the wand as well. The healing wand. I, I would use it if we saw it here, I think. Kill shot, extremely worthwhile. Poison, decent. Oh, we get the reuse too, okay. Well, too bad there's nothing we can actually reuse here that that does anything for us, so. Oh, actually, no, I lied. I never mind, I lied. We can, we can reuse the kill shot and get the kill here. Okay, that works, that works. And you know what? I'll take Jester here. I don't, I don't fuck with Micah still. Jester's fine. It's definitely not the blue we're looking for, but it's fine. We can hopefully find a new blue very soon. That'll be better. It, it could have been worse. I'll put it. I'll put it that way. It definitely could have been a worse blue here for us. We, with, with Bard and Jester, we should have a lot of just random rerolls coming in, so we should hopefully be getting a lot of value that way. I think we actually look for the cleave shield here because we have we have door activated right now. I'll settle for two mana though. That's actually pretty sweet. Okay, this is not the best hand ever, I, I'll, I'll admit. Um, we're not taking too much damage here in the grand scheme of things. It should be fine. The weekend, well, the weekend's pretty annoying. The weekend definitely causes some annoyances for us here. Yeah, this is a little bit of a problem. 
Uh, we'll take this. Hmm. Hey guys, let's roll some dice here. Nope, okay. Fuck me. <laughs> Trapper gets a little petrified, but now we've recovered. Except we're getting weakened again. Shit. I'll take these. Take the wand here, honestly, for the trapper. That's a pretty good roll for us this turn, I think. There we go. Now we're getting some shit. There we go. So we flick here. Oh, maybe we're supposed to... We're supposed to actually... Hold on. Wait a second. We're supposed to do this. That's not that good. I don't know. Whatever. Not too much of a difference either way. We can we can handle the weakens I think overall here, but again, our we do kind of have some trouble against all the. You know what? Honestly, give me the dodge here. Fuck it. Uh, hit you for one. Probably just pass. Probably just pass the turn here. Okay, this this is GG for him now. Sure, give me an exert. Even though we're weak, and give me the exert here. Um, I mean, you're not hitting me this turn, so shields do nothing. Bard has nothing to do anyway, whatever. It doesn't really matter. This is fine, and we're pretty close to being able to hex the, uh, the Lich here. Actually, you know what we kind of do? Because it's ranged, I think we actually just put you to six now. And we can make three mana next turn. We just get to hex this. We, we get to hex your ass, basically. Which I think is a pretty good, uh, result for us. Although, actually seeing things more now, we don't, I don't love hexing here. Because I don't want to have both my characters die. I'll take the shields. Oh, what did I just do? Uh-oh. Hold on a second. I accidentally dragged the screen a little bit. One moment, please. There we go. Okay. I was hoping for the three mana there. Unfortunate. Well, this is actually a pretty bad turn for us. Well, we, you know, Collector's taking the turn off. We knew it wouldn't be that good. Well, you know, Bard gets online now, too. With the door. So, this shouldn't be too bad. Give me a cleave here. Cleave is pretty good. We can hex the Lich now. We're looking for the AoE, I think, here. We get the AoE. Nice. Mana? Mana. Very good. Very good. So, first thing we do... Kill your ass. Uh, maybe this... This first. Hit, hit... I guess you don't have to flick here. Whatever, it's fine. Really wanted to flick a bean or two. Unfortunately, no no bean flicks for us today. Or no, I guess that combat, no bean flicks. Whatever. You get you get the idea. And if you don't get the idea, then you should come watch the streams more. We'll talk all about we'll talk all about bean flicking during the next uh, during during today's stream if you want to hear about it. Anyway. Uh Mark seems pretty good here. Important thing to keep in mind. We are going to have to take a a tier two character into the finale because we took the uh the level the d level middle curse right so mark seems like a pretty good way to make sure we take herbalist into the finale and still have a very good vine vulnerability payoff for us in theory although we need a lot of mana to make that work but it's something to consider i think it's fine here well i usually skip mark i don't love it too much but i think it's okay in theory. Especially if you get like a really if you get like a uh like a warlock, maybe. Although warlock at that point you're probably just using that mana to blaze instead, actually. No, it's that's that's terrible too. I don't know why we want Mark actually. Maybe this is a mistake. The more I think about it, the more I'm convinced that I have done a dumb thing, but you know what? It's fine. We're gonna kill the spiker here this turn. And he kinda just can't stop us, so that's pretty cool. Uh we should try to go for a hex. Oh, actually, you know what? We should not go for a hex here. Hmm. Guess we vine you up. Because we can hex the war chief next turn pretty easily. But we could just flick now. I don't think we do the flick now. I think we try to hex his axe next turn. No one's even dying this turn yet. This is very, very easy. Um No point in keeping that. We can roll down a bit here and we succeed very easily. Okay. So it's just boom. 
X click vine. There you go. Ooh. I don't hate Granite here, but Barbarian is just, you know, he's kind of the king of, of beating ass. We don't have, like, a good Barbarian team in regards to, like, oh, we have ways to keep Barbarian from not dying here. But he just has so much damage output. It should be fine. Hopefully. I guess put this on. <laughs> Barbarian, enjoy your ring. No one's even targeting him? What the heck? That's so, that's so free for us. I think we actually maybe take this, too, to prevent some of the Barbarian damage coming in. Looking for the charge shit here. If we can find it, we do find it. And I think we... We don't hate dodge and gesture here, but I can find some mana here, and that'd be probably a little bit better. Okay. So we go like this, into this. And we probably just uh, flick one of these boys off. And pass. Two more damage, one mana means we can hex the ogre. Eight damage means we can, and a flick means we can kill an ogre too. So I like this quite a bit. Kill shot, I don't see being that good here, honestly. Then, okay, well, I'll, t I'll settle here, I think. Okay, this is probably... You go flick, hit. Oh, we're one mana short on the, on the wombo here. Maybe I actually just burst. Well, I guess we can vine either way. We vine, and we should be able to hex his ass next turn. I mean, or or Barbarian could roll one of his 18 hexes that he has, basically. A.K.A. 10 damage pain sides. But we're, you know, it's over for you. It's, it's all over for you. Don't fucking look at me, Icar Chalice. I'm not doing this shit. I'd rather have the, the Dragon Pipe here. Even if we're taking Herbals into the finale, making these two regen sides basically makes us a better Doctor as far as I'm concerned. So... I will be very happy to do this instead. Um, yeah, I'm not doing. I'm not, I don't fuck with the Icar Chalice. It can be really cool when it works, but I just don't think it's gonna work. I don't want to do it. I think is where I'm at right now. Try again. I'm. I can live with this. I can live with this for sure. Uh, we have a lot of poison coming in here, but the Cyclops honestly is the scariest man. I think we'll just kill his ass. Put a little regen down on that Barbarian, too. And we should be okay here. And then we'll kill this Cyclops and try to kill the, the, the big Poison Man. If we can do that. Okay, let's get some damage here, guys. Nope. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> well, we don't kill... We, we do kill the Cyclops, actually. We kill the Cyclops here. That's fine. But we are now incredibly poisoned, and we need to actually close this fight out very quickly, or else we're going to lose. Mm, I don't love pain here. That's pretty good. Uh, regen is okay, because I, I don't think we're closing it here, unfortunately. Okay, that's very good. That's extremely good news. Uh, in that case, probably go like this, into like this, into like one of these, kill you, kill you, you can like regen here, put like one vine up there, and this seems like a pretty winning position for us, so I'm okay with this. We do have lethal. Nice try, snakes. Maybe next time. But not today. And ooh, okay. Let's think here. Let's think here. We have no wizard synergy currently. Right? We don't really have any good big payoffs for Mr. Wiz. We do have Citrine Ring, which is not crazy, but it is not nothing. Um we also have the door, which is also not terrible, but not amazing. I, I think the actual correct uh, the actual correct and like measured choice here is to go for Venom because Venom will give us a pretty good way to kill uh, Hexia just by just playing defensive pretty much because I, I, I'm worried we take Wizard we see Hexia we have no good way to do anything and we kind of just peter out and lose there although Barbarian can do like a pretty consistently 15 damage to Hexia if you play it right. 
I think I just like Venom on this team. I think this is fine. You know, Venom, you can hold the mark too. I like this, and I like this too because it just instant kills one of the quartzes. Two poison's pretty good here as well. Mm, we do need some defense here, and by that I mean mana, so we can fuel up our, our charge side to stop herbalists from dying here. And then I think we definitely do this, definitely flick up here. Well, you know what we do actually as well? We definitely chip you into the chip again, and that looks pretty good to me. Herbalists just take the turn off, which is unfortunate here. And Bard is weakened. Okay, can we stop? Can we stop shooting me? Is that an option? Hmm. That's pretty good. Our herbals might be down. Yeah, herbals does not get to live here, unfortunately. Oh, no, we, herbal, herbalist lives. I forgot the uh, part of the damage is from this quartz here, so. We do save your ass. Um. Oh, we don't save your. Oh, home, we don't save your. No, no, we do save your ass. It's just very annoying because we get to miss all this great chip value here. We have to do like something like this instead, in order to keep you alive. Wait, hold on. How much health did you have, Quartz? Five. I was gonna say maybe we could hex you here, but even then, hexing is not good. Um. Again, whatever. Wait, oh. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm actually dummy. Never mind. Don't, it, whatever. Fuck me. We survive. Basalt. Do not death beam herbalist again. If you do, I will scream. Okay. This is acceptable. Thank you. Whatever. It doesn't matter what you roll. Okay, it's a little it's a little sketchy here, but the basalt is very poisoned, so we should hopefully win this next turn. Again, now now the only thing we're saying is do not death beam either of these two. I do not death beam herbals, do not death beam venom again, and we should win this. Or like a summon a guy. Okay, this is eh, whatever. Um, we'll keep taking these. Honestly, this is not terrible. I don't love shield all here. I'd rather get... Uh, there we go. Charge shield for sure. Yeah, this is good. This is fine. We regen up here. Assault dies to the poison. Very cool. Okay. Very good stuff. Oh, forget burst. We have vine. We don't need burst. That's okay. Gauntlet versus sushi. Very interesting. I kind of don't hate sushi on barbarian here to get rid of that death side. I think that's a pretty worthwhile play. Gauntlet on Venom is pretty cool, though, too. Just getting plus one to all your poison is very strong. And I think we're... This is a team where we don't even care about Barbarian losing that death side. It's fine. If we triple roll death, like, you know, he was meant to go. I think we want Gauntlet here. Slap that there. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, a lot of people are getting murdered here. I do like the AoE shield, though. That is pretty nice. This is also pretty good. I mean, well, honestly, I don't I don't know what you're gonna roll here, Venom. So actually, no, we have we have three more rerolls. We can find we can find one of the three damage sides here for sure. There we go. Jester, roll me three mana. Frick you, buddy. Um, I guess we're just killing you. It's pretty good to me right now. I guess we just flick on the caw. And he summons bones. We should be able to kill most people this turn. Blood loss is pretty good. I actually don't hate the the mat the, the heal here, but the, the shields are much better this turn. Take all of these. Eh, whatever. Shield up. I think we're supposed to like poison and to like kill bones here. Until like kill kill the bones here. Seems pretty good to me. Call dies to the poison. Wiz has, you know, three health remaining. Goodbye, Wiz. 
Okay, this is our last. This is our last upgrade here. Oh, do we have one more? What, what, what am I talking about? Uh, I've been talking about how like we get a lot of mana and we're pretty much set for life. So I'm pretty sure we just want Warlock. It seems really strong. Uh, we we kind of already. I mean, Valkyrie makes me feel pretty good about the Hexia fight, but I think also Warlock's pretty good in the Hexia fight here. I think we just take that. I think I think Warlock plus Barbarian is just enough burst damage to like pretty reliably just kind of just kill Hexia on round two. They'll both die for it, but then our Herbalist, whatever our Grey is, and Venom should be able to hopefully kill whatever debris is remaining afterwards. I think I'm okay with this. Definitely put the Enchanted Shield on Warlock here. That's a pretty easy pickup. Okay. Now we're looking. For, you know, what? I'll take I'll take Bloodlust here because this lets us kill a zombie pretty easily. I do not hate that. We can do better on you guys, I think, though. Okay. So, we do this, and this. And then we do shields. We definitely kill the top zombie because Venom can just cleanse. That just makes the most sense to me here. And then I think we probably just do one more vine and then pass the turn here. I think that's okay for the most part. You keep making these little bone boys, that's fine. We have infinite bloodlust value to generate here, pretty much. That's cool. I'll take this, that's pretty good. Okay. We're gonna go off here a little bit, I think. This is gonna be a go off king moment. I actually wanna do this now, though. I don't want Barbarian to take too much pain damage. I should actually do this first, though. There you go. So we do maybe like a, a kill this bone here. And one. Just whip as much as we can. We make 11 mana. Kill your ass. Kill your ass. Just basically kill everyone who's summoning right now. I'm pretty okay with this. I think this is probably a winning position. Maybe that's crazy. But I think from here we have it. If I please, there we go. There we go. Very cool. Uh, Silk Cape on Warlock here is just incredibly good. Like, just insane. insane. Just crazy value here. So that's, that's good news. Okay. I feel... First off... Almost no matter what the gray hero is here that we see, we're taking that, for the record. If that isn't incredibly obvious at this point, we're taking the gray here. Pretty much guaranteed. Um, Definitely give me this, too. Okay. This is pretty good stuff. We don't get the most amazing warlock value here ever, but we just have a pretty good... Should probably do this as well, by the way. Pretty good, a pretty good setup here, I'll say. Yeah, that's nice, okay. Last fight, it is the hand. And this is the easiest keeper pick of my entire life. Unbelievably the easiest keeper pick ever here. I definitely prefer keeper, for sure, for this build. We have the, the self heal self shield side, which is just bonkers with our team right now, right? And it just has a pretty decent pip value. And then we get the herbalist spell still. Although we're probably going to be trying just to make six mana every turn if we can. But the Herbalist enables the Warlock's Bloodlust. This is just uh, sick. This is just kind of sm incredibly smooth sailing, if you ask me. Right? And then... I guess you put this on... Probably on the Keeper. And I, guess, I guess, you know what? The Healing Wand. This can go here, actually. And then this will go on you. I, I guess, in theory, if Warlock, for whatever reason, dies, then maybe there's a world where uh, marking into into vines is better than just blazing. But I guess it makes sense to put the, the mark on the Herbalist then. Okay. So, Hand goes for an immediate Fireball. We go for an immediately decent number of good rolls here. Right? Um, Bloodlust is fine, because we're just going to Bloodlust here, pretty much. One, two... Three, boom, poison down. I think we're supposed to, like, kill this saber. Oh, 
Oh, maybe we, oh, maybe we, hold on, wait a second, actually. No, I think we do this. I, mean, I think we can get, like, Hex in here somewhere. I think we just play it like this, honestly. Put this here. Put this here. This is fine. Although, if you keep spamming fire, we're going to have some issues. So that's, that's a ton of damage per, per round that we kind of just can't keep up with. Okay, he's doing it again. Uh-oh. Can we kill you this turn and turn hand here? Let's see. Um, we get a blaze off. Get pain. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it was just that easy. That was pretty scary. I've never had the hand just double double fireball me. That's I mean, you know. That's technically seven times five that's 35 damage output per turn from the enemy that's that's a, that's a scary proposition to deal with but uh we get there easy goodbye saber goodbye warlock very cool stuff that was that was that, was, that could have been a scary end to our run though for sure we didn't roll like amazing there pretty i mean obviously we had good items too right like this the silk cape just made it so that way our herbalist was a good enabler for our various bloodlust strategies. Just a cool run. Great job, herbalist. Keep it up. Venom. And Venom did damage. <laughs> Venom did, I think, what, 12 damage total to the hand there, right? Because it was it was four damage the first round with poison. Or the, the hit was four damage, and then the poison hit was four more damage, so eight. And then we got one more four damage ship in there as well, right? So, you know. Ended up being pretty important for us. Pretty, pretty, pretty important character to have here for sure. Good damage output there. Obviously, the barbarian did more damage, but just good. And then keeper, keeper. If we had, if we, if, if we had seen like a terrible gray there, like we'd be seen like twin or like, maybe mimic would be pretty bad there. Although mimic would have the four, the four mana pain side, so it wouldn't actually be that bad in our team. Uh, anyway, all that being said, hooray! And twenty win streak. That's a, that's a. You know what? If I start the stream today and I lose my very first slice and dice run, 20 is a nice, a nice round number to end it on. So I'm pretty happy with that. And we're now 38. Pretty cool. Anyway, I'll see you. Oh, that was, oh my God. That was such a fast run. That was only 40 minutes long. What the fuck? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Uh, Goodbye.